Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create an Inferno flame effect in DaVinci Resolve 16.2.1. Go to the edit window in your software. Go to effects library. Underneath toolbox, select generators and go to noise gradient. Select this generator, hold your mouse button down and drag this to the timeline. Letting go of the left mouse button once the edit is in place on video track 1. Ensure that noise gradient is selected. Go to inspector and under fusion select version 2. Inside your controls panel apply the following values to the variables. Center X and Y should both be set to 0.5. Detail 7.1, Contrast 0.64, Brightness minus 0.8, Lock X and Y should be ticked, Scale 17.4, Angle 88.7, Seath minus 0.123, Seath Rate 0.087, Discontinuous unticked and Inverted ticked. Go to left click on the Gradient option next to Controls. Type should be set to gradient. Gradient type should be set to linear. However, we need a set of X and Y coordinates to appear below this. If we left click on the gradient type box, select linear again, nothing appears. So what I'm going to do is left click on linear, go to uni, and then select uni and linear once again. And now I can see four different coordinates appear underneath my gradient type. Start X, end x, start y, end y. In order to demonstrate how these four variables work, I'm first going to set them to zero. Start x refers to the horizontal positioning of the red flame tip which will appear on screen. End x refers to the bottom of the flame which will be an intense yellow and white color. Increasing the value for start x will stretch the red tips of the flames further across your canvas. Bear in mind that the bottom of the flame is still on the left side here. If we wish to shift this yellow and white intense section of the flame closer to the red tipping point, we simply increase the end x value. Should the end x value be greater than the value inside start x, the flame will be inverted. And as you can see here, the intense part of the flame is now coming from the right instead of the left. Y refers to the vertical positioning of the flame. Increasing start Y will make the flames go higher. And like we did with the X coordinates, if we wish to push the yellow and white section up higher, closer to the red tips, we simply increase end Y. For this particular project, I'm going to stick with start X as 0.5, end X as 0.5, start Y as 1, and end Y as 0. The following gradient box represents the colors of the flames that appear on screen. The first color stop, which appears at position 0, is set to black with the hexadecimal code hashtag 000000. The colour of this particular shade can be manipulated by double clicking on the box which appears next to the colour picker and selecting the new shade before manipulating the intensity of the shade on the top right column here. For now I'm going to keep these colour shades as their default settings. Colour stop 2 at position 0 0.427860 is hashtag C3000000. Color stop 3 at position 0 0.776119 contains the color code hashtag E3E300. And finally, color stop 4 at position 1 contains white hashtag FFFFFF. Should you wish to add an additional color to your gradient, such as a fifth color which will appear between the black and red shades towards the top of the flame here, for example, I'm going to left click on the gradient box between the black and red color stops. If we drag the mouse cursor over the color shades, we should see an addition symbol appear below the arrow itself. Left click once, 
and a new color stop appears which we can manipulate with the color settings below. Should you make a mistake at all or wish to erase a particular color stop, simply lift click on it, hold your mouse button down, drag your mouse cursor upwards just above the color shades and note how the color stop below disappears and we are only left with the four default color stops. Let go of your left mouse button once the color stop that you wish to erase disappears. Scroll down your gradient options. Interpolation space will be set to RGB, offset at zero, repeat once and subpixel one times one. What if you had a video file underneath your noise gradient edit which you wish to show instead of the black color shade which appears above the flames? How could we make this dark shade invisible? With your noise gradient edit selected, inside your gradient options, ensure that the color stop representing black is selected. You should see this with the black color preview which appears next to the color picker below. Scroll down the gradient options to find alpha and reduce this to zero. And the video track below your noise gradient edit should appear in place of the black color. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.